This is a lesson in how to straighten a graph for physics. And I'm going to kind of go fast because I only have five minutes of video time to work with. But remember, you can always pause this or go back and watch it again if it doesn't make sense. So I start with my data, my graph that I have already. We've got a line of best fit for this. It's 0.9546 R squared value. That's pretty good, but it may not be the best fit. When I look at this, it looks to me like it's curving a little bit up. So to me, that says it might be a squared relationship. To check that, what I'm going to do is first copy and paste this data. I don't want to lose the original data, so I'll just copy and paste it. Then we will manipulate, that is, we'll change the x column, but only the x column. We'll never touch the y column. So I think it's a squared relationship. That means I'm going to put in 0 0.01 squared. And I'll do that for this one. You can do it with your calculator, too, if that's more comfortable for you. But Excel can do it for you. In fact, you can even put in a formula. and It'll go a little bit faster if you're comfortable with it. But equals the cell that you want to square, or square root, or inverse, whatever it is. And I can do that for every single one of these. And it's even easier than that if you're really comfortable with Excel. After you get the formula, you click and drag this lower corner, and it will insert that formula for every single one. So for this one, I have A8, or 0 0.075, squared. And it does it for me. Now I'm going to take this data and graph it like I did before. Insert graph. We always choose scatter plot. never connect the lines. And I get a graph that looks like this. Now that looks straighter to me than the first one, but I don't know for sure. So I'm going to add a trend line. But before that, I'll make sure I have a chart title and axis titles. And I'll enter those later once I know this is the best fit. To add a trend line, you right click on the data, hit Add Trend Line, make sure it's linear. Display equation, display, display R squared. And you can see my fit now is 0.9998. That's better than the original. So this, so far, is the best fit. That would tell me that the correct relationship between M&Ms and telephones is that M&Ms squared are proportional to telephones. Now, the last thing I want to do is check to see if there's a better fit. I know it's not an inverse fit or an inverse square fit. It's not 1 over x or 1 over x squared because that would look like this coming down. It's either squared or maybe square root relationship. I will show the square root relationship in the next video so you want to check that to make sure that you have the best fit.